Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, my name is Marina Christensen. Today I will share with you the best dish soap ever. It only has two ingredients, it's eco-friendly, zero waste, allergy-friendly, natural, non-toxic, just the good stuff. And it's super easy to make too. But before I will share the recipe and the method, Click the like and subscribe button down below and hit the little bell so that you always get notified when I upload a new video. And now to the ingredients and what they do. So actually you can say it's three ingredients if you count water as an ingredient. So you have water, olive soap and baking soda and that's it. Make sure to use pure olive soap or the purest you can find. So I tried this recipe with two different soaps. I will link them down below. And the really pure one, which is just plain olive soap, works I for me personally the best. And what olive soap does is that it gives the dishes and also the sink a little oil film. And this oil film will reduce the staining of the dishes and also of your sink which is amazing because you don't have to wash them too harsh you can say and fat and oil and other difficult food ingredients that are on your dishes can be washed off very easily the olive soap uses the own oil to remove the oil from the dishes if that makes sense and as it is pure olive oil soap it's non-toxic so it's absolutely fine when you eat after washing when you eat out of the dishes again and as this dish soap is non-toxic you can use it for your animal dishes too moreover most dish soaps do dry out your hands which is not that much the case with this homemade dish soap because the olive soap will give your hands a little oil but not too much of course you still will have some kind of dry hands because you're in the water all the time and water actually dries out your skin it doesn't so much hydrate it and now to baking soda baking soda will reduce the odor and the smell of your dishes and it has very good cleaning properties. You can use baking soda for so many things, to clean so many things. I will talk about this in another video if you would like to, so leave me a comment down below if you would like to know what baking soda is good for. Um, where was I? So yes, it will reduce the smell and the odor and baking soda will also clean the pipes as it runs through after washing the dishes. It will reduce the staining and the sitting of the leftovers in the pipe. Pipes. pipes. Now it's up to you if you want to add essential oils or not. I personally like to use the plain dish soap. And another thing I want to mention is I don't know if you can use it for a dishwasher, but it definitely is working for washing dishes with your hands. If you try to use it in a dishwasher, leave me a comment down below on if it worked or not. Maybe you should add um, less water if you're using it in a dishwasher. And now I will show you on how to make the dish soap. Cut the olive soap into small pieces and add it into a clean bowl or straight into the container you will keep your dish soap in. Then add in hot water and dissolve the olive soap in it. The smaller the soap pieces are, the easier and faster it will be dissolved in water. After the soap is fully dissolved and the mixture cooled down, add in the baking soda and mix again.
Then pour it into the container you want to keep it in and you're already done. And now some more information about the soap. You can store it at room temperature so you don't have to cool it or anything. And this recipe is just a guideline. So you can add more or less of the ingredients as you prefer. And um, it also depends on how pure the olive soil, the olive soap is. And the last thing you should know about this dish soap is that you always have to shake it before you use it because it will sit on the bottom so the baking soda and some of the smaller particles of the soap will sit on the bottom and the water will be on top so always shake beforehand and then you you can use it use as much as you like so it depends on how dirty your dishes are and how on <clears throat> how many dishes you want to clean with one row and on personal preferences Yes, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. I have some other ones on my channel. I will leave the playlist down below and somewhere on screen probably. And I hope we will see you next week again. Until then, have a great time and goodbye.